Hello everyone, now today's question is uh, something special and I consider this question is one of the difficult question in the series which I'm going to take. So the question is, if f of x is differentiable, continuous and it's given that f of x cannot be 0 for all x in the given interval 4 to 8. Now it's given that the integration 4 to 8 f dash of x whole square upon f of x 4 raised to power 4 d of x is 1. f of 4 is given 1 by 4 and f of 8 is given 1 by 2. Now the question is, we have to find f of 6. So clearly they are asking us to find f of x. Once we get f of x, we'll get f of 6. Okay. Now the idea generation is the most difficult part in this question. But what I felt is uh, the idea is, see, if I check this function inside, uh, it's a perfect square is written. I can re rewrite this as 4 to 8 integration f dash of x upon f of x square. And this is whole square is written if you check. So the key idea is we this is given as 1 and we have to use this integral in order to calculate f of x. So we have to relate somewhat this to this. Okay. So the basic idea is uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same integration 4 to 8. Suppose if I tweak this integral little bit, I f dash of x upon f of x square. But I write plus k and whole square. I'm taking the whole square of the function and inside I'm taking plus k. So idea is that if this value, okay, if the value of this integral, it turn out to be zero, then that means this function is for sure, this function is positive, greater than or equal to zero. This means that if this is positive, it is above x-axis and the moment the integration of this function, positive function is zero, I'm going to say this will be, this has to be zero. Okay, and this will be equal to zero. The moment we get this is equal to zero, this function ki f dash of x upon f of x whole square plus k ki value zero jayegi, and from there I'll get the value of f of x. So this is the whole idea. So I'm going to start with this kind of integral. Now after doing a little modification of this integral, I got this and I'm going to open this. We'll see what we'll get. Okay, so ek bar open karke dekhte hai. we'll get integration 4 to 8. First function is f dash of x square upon f of x raised to power 4 d of x plus second is 2ab so that is 2k times integral 4 to 8 and we'll get f dash of x upon f of x square plus a core integral aega, that is k square outside integration 4 to 8 and then uh, d of x only so i think the first one is given this value is given i'm going to utilize this integral so this value is 1 plus this value is 2k times this integral and I think we have derivative and function we can easily calculate I'm going to calculate this in the next page uh, last integral is the, whenever the there is one in the inside the integration difference of limit is there that that means 4k square here now uh, let's calculate this integral in the next page once I get this uh, I'll show you what I'm trying to do here now let's evaluate this integral as you can see we have function and derivative so I'm going to substitute f of x is equal to y that is very obvious differentiate kar lete f dash of x d of x will be equal to dy now this will be equal to integration uh, we'll adjust the limit later on f dash of x into d of x is dy divided by this will be y square now the limit change part so we have 1 by 4 lower limit upper limit will be 1 by 2 ye to easily integrable 1 by y square ka integration hota minus 1 by y lower limit 1 by 4 upper limit 1 by 2 so I think this will be negative times of uh, you can put here 2 minus 4 so this will be equal to minus or minus 2 plus 2 so the value of this integral is integration is 2 now I'm going to substitute in the previous page now the value of this integral is 2 I'm going to substitute here so this will be equal to 1 plus 4k plus 4k square Papa observe karoge pe, this value is equal to a perfect square that is 2k plus 1 whole square and integration 4 to 8 f dash upon f square of x plus k whole square d of x now conclusion part i'm going to give you in the next slide now we have calculated the value of this integral and it is equal to a perfect square as you can see 2k plus 1 whole square jo main idea hai and that most of the student misses this is the idea and that's why this question is really important if you can see a perfect square hai, and perfect square is always greater than or equal to 0 that means this function will be always above x axis and integration of this from 4 to 8 means if this is a perfect square if i can make this 0 
for which value of k if i put k is equal to minus half for this value this value of the integration is zero so we'll get integration from 4 to 8 f dash of x upon f square of x minus half whole square d of x agar iski value zero hai that means clearly means inside function should be zero that means a constant function it should be zero here so f dash of x upon f square of x ki value should be equal to half for sure then only this value of definite integration will be zero so what i'm going to do is our objective main objective is to calculate f of x so i'm going to integrate or isko integrate karna bahut easy hoga because derivative bhi available hai aur function bhi available hai so integration of f dash of x upon f square of x is equal to x by 2 plus c aa jayega yahan pe if i integrate on both sides now i think the integration is very easy minus 1 by f of x is the integration and this will be equal to x by 2 plus c here now we need to calculate constant of integration and for that i think we have initial condition so initial condition is f of 4 diya tha 1 by 4 so i'm going to substitute here so that will be minus 4 is equal to uh, 4 by 2 that is 2 plus c so here is c ki value hai c ki value is minus 6 here now i'm going to calculate the function so from here minus 1 by f of x is equal to uh, i think x minus 12 divided by 2 reciprocal lene se and i'm going to adjust this negative here on the right hand side so f of x ki value hogi 2 upon 12 minus x now question is asking the value of f of 6 so yahan se clearly i can put x is equal to 6 we'll get f of 6 is equal to 2 upon 12 minus 6 so answer will be 1 by 3 will be our final answer and that will be all